my name's Andy Raphael from eTechnics.com and today we're going to be looking at the Noctua NTH1 thermal paste. The Noctua NTH1 comes in quite a big easy to open plastic packet with the standard Noctua brown and blue colour scheme. The front gives us a clear view of the paste as well as a list of its main features. This includes having excellent performance, top performance right from the start and outstanding long term stability. The back of the packaging gives us usage instructions in four easy steps as well as specifications and the features once again. A short description of the NTH1 is also listed in seven different languages. The NTH1 paste comes supplied in a 1.4 milliliter syringe, which should be good for about 15 applications, depending on usage. The size of the syringe is normal in the fact that it's around the same size as its main competitors from companies such as Gelid Solutions. The syringe compared to its competitors is quite thin though. Not sure its product logo and product name are clearly printed on the side, Turning the syringe around gives us some obvious warnings for a product like this. This includes do not ingest, seek medical advice immediately if ingested, keep away from children and pets, and avoid skin or eye contact. We're also told that this is a premium grade thermal compound, and for specs and usage instructions, we should visit the Noctua website. Going through the main features of the paste, we find that it has excellent performance due to it consisting of a hybrid compound of different microparticles which have specifically been optimised for use in PC environments. Maximum ease of use and efficient dosage means that the NTH1 spreads very well under pressure. There's no need to smear it over the heat spreader. No longer burning time. Top performance from the start. NTH1 reaches its full performance extremely fast and doesn't require a longer burning time unlike other pastes like Arctic Silver 5. Excellent long term stability. NTH1 doesn't contain any solvents or other substances with low flash point and provides excellent long-term stability. NTH1 can be used for several years without any problems due to the compound's exceptional bleeding, dry out and thermal cycling characteristics. Not electrically conductive, non-corroding. NTH1 possesses a very low dielectric constant and a high dielectric strength. Therefore, there's no danger of short circuits, even in case of direct contact with components or conducting paths. NTH1 is suited for use with aluminium and copper coolers, suitable for compressor cooling. NTH1 is perfectly suited for use with compressor coolers. Even at the very lowest temperatures, the paste delivers full performance and remains easy to clean off. The paste has a light grey appearance and has a slightly thicker consistency than other pastes on the market. Sadly, no spreader is included, so it's up to you to find something suitable to spread the compound. Some users do prefer to sit their heatsink straight onto the paste and let it spread naturally which is how not to actually recommend using their paste. They tell you to clean off any residual traces of thermal paste on the CPU, press a small drop of NTH1 onto the centre of the heat spreader, put the heat sink onto the CPU, turning it back and forth a few times in order to spread the paste, and then fasten it. The first step to applying the paste is to remove any paste that is already on your CPU. Uh, if you've got a brand new CPU then it won't come with any paste on it, but I do find that a nail polish remover and a small cotton bud is the, the best choice for me to get the original paste off. Once you've done that, you'll see that your CPU will look something like this. To apply the Noctua NTH1 paste, I followed Noctua's recommendations, which is to squeeze out a small blob, and to put your heat sink on and twist it just a couple of times. This will disperse the spread and evenly spread it over your CPU. When you then have a look, you can see that it's nicely spread onto the bottom of the heatsink and onto the CPU. At £5 for a 1.4 gram tube, it's not the best value for money when it comes to quantity, but that's not really important because Notchua are more about the quality of the product, and this product clearly shows that. It gave distinctively better results than the other thermal paste that we were testing it against. And if you are in the market for some thermal paste, whether you be a general end user or a hardcore overclocker, this is going to be the product of choice. Because of its distinct properties and the fact that it did outperform all the other thermal paste that we were testing it against, I'm going to give it 5 out of 5 stars.